Gosport, a small town located on the south coast of England with Portsmouth just across the water. Gosport is well known for its naval associations and history, and its nice beaches and parks. But one thing that has been keeping the citizens of Gosport happy recently is its football team. Gosport Borough are a semi-professional football club who play their games at the AEI Stadium and currently sit in third place in the Southern League Premier South. Their recent success includes being the runners-up in the 2014 FA Trophy Final where they played Cambridge United at Wembley. Last season was not great for the fans. The team finished in 17th place and just about survived relegation. But the 23-24 season has looked good so far for the Borough fans. Pat Shirazi and Joe Lee were appointed as managers at the start of the season where they are looking to get the team promoted. How did you feel when you were given the job of Gosport manager? Um, yeah, ma massively excited, really. Uh, obviously, a little bit of nerves were coming in. Myself and Joe were only, you know, 24, 25 when we, we got the job. Really proud because me and Pat had played at the club for, for four or five years. So um, that was that was a really big moment for us. We'd had a good year at Petersfield the year before. Mm -hmm. And we knew it was a big job, but we were excited to give the fans, hopefully, a more positive season than they've had in recent years. And We were a little bit surprised. Obviously, we're quite young, but the club are willing to take a risk on us and hopefully they feel like it's paid off so far. Obviously, we had a bit of apprehension because coming into a, a new job um, in a couple of leagues above from what we were doing last year. Um, but luckily, we knew a lot of the lads from when we played here, so it makes it a little bit easier. So when Pat and Joe um, got the job and they called me to come in, I was really excited. I think it was a it's nice to have two young guys who you know quite well who play who play good football um, want you to come. So I was, no, I was really excited for the for the project they were they were putting together. Yeah, I played a little bit with Pat uh, back in the academy at Bournemouth, so I knew what Pat was about, and then uh, Joe as well. Obviously, he came through Swanton, so yeah, I just knew what they were about, and it was just an exciting project. They obviously want to play good football, so that's why I want to be here. Was promotion an expectation at the start of the season or was it just to try and survive another season? Um, I think the expectation definitely wasn't promotion, not from where they were last year. Yeah. Probably neither, to be fair. I think, obviously, the club only just survived last year and promotion hasn't been on the cards really here, since, certainly since I've been here, even as a player, really. I think it was quite a transition phase for the club. They'd had struggled the last couple of seasons, so I think it was mainly to get in a bit more of an identity, play good football, get a bit of a buzz back here. I think... When I spoke to Pat and Joe, they kind of mentioned it. They wanted building something. So I think it wasn't until kind of the first couple of games of the season when we went on a bit of an unbeaten streak, we started to think, ah, oh, maybe we could actually do something. Of course, new team, new gaffer, you, you never know what to expect. But I think from the beginning, we kind of knew we had a good team to try and push for playoffs or promotion. So, yeah, definitely. It was about um, bringing a new identity to the club. Um, bring in a different feel, a different environment, at least sort of get in and around mid-table and be a bit more a bit more stable in the league. I think it was probably somewhere in between more of a consistent season where we maybe look to push the playoffs if we were having a great year and it's obviously turned out that we've made it a reality that hopefully we can end up getting in the playoffs. I think we knew inside the dressing room maybe but didn't want to talk too much about it um, and I think now even you just take it game by game but no I don't think that was the aim it was just to get that identity back here and create a bit of a buzz instead. Can you talk me through the signings of the new players and did you get the players you were after? Uh, yeah I mean we didn't get every player we were yeah. after we missed out on a few and we came into the recruitment quite late myself and Joe but we you know we got a lot of the players we wanted we kept the players that we wanted to keep from last year so we had a good mix of players that were already here and new players we'd brought in um, but we were making sure we, we brought the right people in, not just the players. They were people that were going to come in and add to the environment we're trying to create. And um, I don't think we've we've missed out on, on too many of those so far. Um, we've had a bit of an injury crisis lately. We've had some quite bad injuries. So um, we knew that we needed to bring some, some bodies in. Um, so we got a young lad, Pedro, who came on today yeah. from, um, from Exeter. Um, exactly who we wanted, exactly what we need. Some legs in midfield with good quality. And then hopefully we've got one or two more to come through the door as well, which, which we'll see. A few days after the interview with Pat and Joe, Gosport announced three new signings which have added more depth to the squad. 18-year-old left-back Liam Miller joins from National League side Boreham Wood. 
23-year-old midfielder Jake Cope joins from Schoen FC and 22-year-old forward Alfie Stanley joins from AFC Tottenham. What were your thoughts on Gosport's cup run this season? Yeah, it was it was good. We would have liked it to have been a little bit longer. We ended yeah. up losing away at Welling in what was a close game. We should have gone through and then of course we lost away. Um we, we were leading here until the ninety eighth minute, which was yeah, a real tough shame, yeah. that was a real tough <laughs> one. And considered late in the when we played at home. But yeah, the cup competitions are important. It gets revenue for the club. You obviously have a chance of playing against higher opposition, so that was nice. But I think our focus has always been the league and the cup is a bonus, if you like, that you want to try and make the most of. The fan attendance has increased massively this year. How do you think they have impacted you and the players? Oh, massively. I think, you know, you were here today, you saw that they can make a real difference, especially when we attack down that end. Today's a good example of it, really, especially the, the group behind the goal. You know, we always say when we attack this end in the second half, we feel like we've got a massive advantage and they almost drag the ball towards the goal, you know? Yeah, the fans are really good. I think the atmosphere, you come out here every every time you play, whether it's a Saturday, Tuesday, away from home, at home, and there's just a good buzz about the club. Yeah, they've impacted us massive because even when we had a, a little bad spell or whatever, they've been behind us and kept us going. The attendances have gone up, hopefully because the lads have put in good performances and more people want to come and watch and play. The fans have been great for us. They've come in their numbers, they've made noise. <laughs> They're a big part of why our home record's so good. So, yeah, no, they've been really, really useful for us this season. Hopefully, we've, we've paid them back in performances and results. What position do you think needs strengthening? I think we've, we've probably said a few different positions. I think we rather than strengthening, we need uh, more uh, players in certain positions, especially defensively. We don't have a lot of cover. We've only had one player on the bench in defensive positions for quite a while. Possibly we need one or two additional bodies at the back just with the injuries that we've got. So we've got two big centre-backs for us injured yeah. at the moment in Harry and Charlie. Um, Rory's had a few injury problems lately as well. So I think we, we could possibly do a reinforcing one or two bodies in that area. Uh, we've got a lot of options, a lot of players that are chomping at the bit to get playing. So, yeah, we're, we're quite positive where, where the squad's at right now. What's been your favourite thing about playing for Gosport this season? Probably the fans and Corey, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just pay me and say that. No, it's nice though for me and Corey grew up playing together. So it's the first time we played together in like five, six years. So it's been quite nice to to get that back. And I'll say the fans, the fans have been a big part. Even in away games, home games, we get quite a lot of travelling fans and support. So obviously he came here because Diaz was a bit scared, so he wanted to hold his hand. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice to play football with him again. You know, he tries his hardest and I, so like, I like to watch that. <laughs> what can you and the team do now to keep up this great form and gain promotion? I think we've just got to be consistent. We've got to keep our standards high. Um, we've got to work hard. We've got to keep doing what we've done to get in this position, but also we've got to try and make sure it doesn't go stain. The start of this season's been difficult. We've drawn a lot of games, so today was massive that we got a win against a team who are in and around us. We obviously had a great start and then we had a little bit of a blip around kind of December, Jan time, but we actually didn't lose too many games, which I think kind of speaks volumes. And that's something we always say is you've got to work, you've got to run, you've got to keep an intensity about us. And I think if we do that, that's the building blocks. And then it's about having quality at the times that we need it. The type of players we've got suit a certain style of football. So we've, we've gone down that route, but also we've got to keep freshening things up. You mentioned about the signings. I think that's, that's a good way of kind of yeah. keeping the team fresh. And yeah, I think just keep doing what we've been doing because it's got us here in the first place. There's not many... 16, 17 players when you look at the squad who have a stronger one than us. So I think, yeah, confidence is high. We train really hard in the week. We believe in what we do. So yeah, I think think every game we're confident that we're going to win. And obviously that's not how it turns out, but, but that's always the aim. It's just about getting back on that streak that we had at the start of the season, doing a little Man City towards the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> <that. Yeah. laughs>